Hey what's up everyone, Arjun here with Acting University and today I will be showing you how you can add Google custom search engine in your blogger blog. Now basically I have written a full text tutorial, you can check that too, the link is in the description. So basically we have two uh, you know methods there. One is officially introduced by a blogger. They have just implemented a simple widget, you can add that and your Google custom search engine is up. But obviously the simplest method uh, doesn't allow you to you know modify much settings and on the other hand if you are creating your custom search engine then you can edit settings you can even monetize your search with you know linked adsense account and there are you know pretty awesome features in that like auto completion and much more so we are going to see both methods of adding Google custom search engine in your blog blog so the first one is the easiest one so like this is the blogger blog I am in it's my blog and as you can see right over here under the layout section so you do not need to go in the template or anywhere else but just in the layout section you need to click on add a gadget option now when you click on the add a gadget option you slide scroll down till you see search box so here you go you click on the plus icon as soon as you click on it you will see you know a few settings like this you can uh, rename this thing to search you know continuously or you can you know remove the name if you do not want to Know, show any game and then there are tabs like this blog linked from here and the web so these three means that what do you want Google custom search engine to search when people you know type in the things you just want your blog to be searched for or linked from here so it's a very good one if uh, people have linked some content from your blog then Google search too and the last one is the web you can remove the web one the link from here I don't think so many people will like this options too but they would just want their blog to search for so you can click here and this is what your search engine will look like it's a pretty simple one so as I said you do not have much options to you know configure you cannot design it right away but yes obviously you do not have options but using CSS and some HTML techniques you can design it like I have done but I'm obviously not using this one I'm using the totally custom one I will be showing you in a few minutes so you hit on save and your search will appear so right now I cannot save it because I'm already using this custom search engine so as soon as I click on it so okay let me show you what happened if I save it saving Slow. So you let me refresh my blog, and you can see loading, and you can see now. As you can see, you might be thinking that what kind of you know design is this? It's really looking odd. It's nothing you want to get designed like this because it's coming because I'm I have added CSS that's matching this design. As you can see, the both one. So it will be uh, appear simple, but. Now this is how your search is going to appear and let me type the keywords, okay, IBM optimizer, right, I hit in search and boom, your search is done right away and the results come right above the first post you have in your blog blog and these are instant, you click on it and the result is open in a new tab, it's pretty fast, so what I like about this one is the loading is fast and the results are displayed right away so it's much more convenient for your uh, blog readers you know it's a pretty good one so let's remove this one for right now okay. right. so now this was the first method on how you can actually implement the google custom search engine in your blog blog now there is another one which is using the Google custom search engine right over here right 
the custom search engine when you open the google.com slash cse this one this is the when you are just open google.com slash cse you will be redirected to your custom uh, you know search page why the loading is going on very slow possibly there's some problem with my internet connection I guess Wait. so yes uh, you will go on the CSE google.com slash CSE and you will uh, land on this page you won't see happiness search because this is the one I have created right so what do you need to do you need to click on new search engine button right over here you click on it and then it asks you that what sites do you want it to search you need to enter your blogs or websites URL so let me add my happiness you can add multiple sites if you want to three sites to be searched inside you can do that or you can you know just add some parts of site like pages it's a pretty awesome feature of so as I said you know it's pretty customizable you can do pretty awesome things with it now automatically it fetches your name from your domain here so you can rename it like uh, uh, okay demo search widget right so there are a few advanced options I recommend not clicking any of them just hit on create and <coughs> your custom search engine is up so pretty much like it's available to be added if you do not want to customize it much more than boom just hit the get code option copy this code where you want the search to appear you know by saying search box and results to render in case of the development yeah, so likewise so it's pretty easy one the script and the search option so this will go under your body and this is where the search you want the search to appear and then you can you know just copy and paste right when the search box it will look pretty fine now we have just created this one but still you know we want to edit it up then there is options like setup look and feel search feature statistics and logs so let's go into setup and see what custom things we can do now <coughs> And for all, it's free with ads option, so you can purchase if you want to go fully customized. Now, even you cannot do these kinds of editing right over here because it's done using custom CSS. You should have pretty good knowledge about that thing, else it won't be you know, easy for you to do that. Well, I will post another, you know, uh, like. Uh, showing you how you can easily design it with custom CSS so we'll do that in the later post but right now okay let's see so uh, this is the name the description you can even add some keywords and you know there are some image search and blah 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 few things are there you need to sit back and see sites to search you can add so many more sites like and then there's a next option of make money now I won't be uh turning this on because i have already enabled that thing in my site but yes you can make it on then it will search for the adsense account you're using if you're not having like this one they can link it up to another account and have it displayed whenever the person searches the you know the site and it's certainly another good way to monetize the site then there are some admin rules indexing advanced pretty much like so many things are there you can do that now the next option is look and feel now this is where you can customize it so likewise it's like a, a two page kind of thing and like the compact one so these are like different layouts you're getting you click on it and you know there is an option to okay let's search for how it's gonna work uh optimize so this is the overlay of it i click on enter and you can see 
Wow, like the overlay stuff is there. Right where the thing is there, it will come like an overlay option like this. And you can search. And there's a two page option. So let's hide again. See how this works. It's like a two page right over there, but on a different. Then there's a full bit option. They look like pretty similar in this one, but when you put them on a the blog, it might look somewhat different. So, you know, you can see how easy. So, as you can see, these ads are coming up. So, when you put link your monetized account, these ads, when someone clicks on them, oh, you're gonna make money out of it. <coughs> and then, this is where the two columns option is there, like the one is done, and then the uh, results only in you know, search box and results on the page of the site. So you know you have to see and feel how you're gonna do that. Now they have some default themes, the like, uh, espresso, and you know some Chinese and bubblegum. You can if you want you can just pick up somewhat this one. And if you do not want to go in, you know deep CSS customization for this this kind of thing. Now you can even customize your search box. This one, the basically it's for like the results. You know, hit enter and this is how your results are coming up. So you can change them, right? So result title, as you can see, the listed color, the whole color, the unlisted color. You can click and you can change it. Um, you can see how it's changing. So you can you know, add your own colors. So have a bunch of stuff to shuffle up and there are thumbnails if you want you know there are image thumbnails to appear in your you know, search and uh, it's pretty done it's so like uh, there are many search features if you want to enable the auto completion auto complete is right over here auto complete helps you like okay on and you can just type down I don't mean, so it's gonna show right over here because it takes some time so it's uh, like a very good one. So this is the easiest way, and when you're done, you obviously have the option, you know, to get the code and get it running on a blog. So get the code, and go. It's done. So pretty much, I think so. These were the two you know, easiest methods to add Google Custom Search Engine to your blog. Blog. So. Hope that helps and you can visit our blog for more awesome you know, cuts and tutorials. You can like us on Facebook, you can subscribe to our email newsletter right over here, and you're even the Google Plus, so you can add us on your circles. So, have fun and do comment and like this video.